Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Mackey Motors, a post-game show. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. John Blank been joined right now by Jackson Deist of the Ottawa Wheelers. Jackson, congratulations. Great second half. Really an all-around great game for you and for this team here tonight. Um, what worked well for this team here this evening? I think defensively we played really well. And, yeah, that definitely helped us win the game. I think they only scored like six points in the second half, so I really think that was the game changer. Yeah, 24 for them in the first half, I think 11 in the second half, but uh, held them to two in the third quarter. A good defensive first quarter, giving up just 24, but what was the difference in the second half uh, that you guys did such a great job holding them to 11 points? I think we just uh, let our defense go to work. We really uh, we switched on everything, and uh, we helped contest a lot of the three-pointers, and I think that made a lot of the difference, and we got a lot of really good rebounds. Able to, to rebound well out of that. Talk about being able to focus on shutdown. Sometimes when you're focused on shutdown three-point shooters, you kind of get it's harder to maybe turn and, and find those rebounds. How were you guys able to do that here tonight? I think uh, because Tickner fouled out, that was really helpful. And we have uh, we actually had height this game. Like we had Edward out there and me and Carson. We all had pretty good height compared to these guys, so we were able to get the rebounds. Rich hit you guys for 12 in the first half, but didn't score in the second half. How are you guys able to completely take him out of his game in the second half? Like I said, switching on ball screens, we really got up and helped contest on those threes, so he really struggled like, to get a three-pointer on Played better defensively. Were you not switching in the first half? Is that kind of what was the switch here for you guys at the halftime? Yeah, we weren't switching when Tickner was setting the screens, and he set most of the screens. So we switched that, and yeah, that definitely made it. Scored 20 in the fourth quarter. Uh, talk about the offensive execution all game, but especially in that fourth quarter. Uh, getting the ball inside and then kicking it back out. And we started hitting a lot of threes in the fourth quarter. And yeah, just getting it in and then throwing it back out and making it threes. It looked like it was really the game plan coming in tonight. You pounded. You mentioned having the height advantage early on. It was into Carson, into Carson, into Carson. And then Edward come in. It was into Edward. Was that really the game plan to come in tonight? Hey, we've got the side. Let's try to use it. Yeah, for sure. And whoever didn't have Tickner on it, Tickner on him, like Edward or Carson, and we tried to get the ball inside. Talk about the rebound. How physical was this game? This is a good football program. You guys are a good football program. You know each other from the regular season through the playoffs. Probably a little bit of a rivalry here tonight. So what was it like and how physical was it inside? Yeah, it was pretty physical. It's always competitive when you go against teams. So yeah, it was, it was very physical. What's this win mean for this ball club right now? Uh, this is a nice win. You guys have now won two or three. Uh, played maybe your best game of the season here tonight. So late in the year, playoffs are right around the corner. What does this do for this team? Yeah, this is a big momentum swing after last game. Yeah, that really helped us boost our confidence. This is a game we really need to win. Got you scoring 10 tonight. Where did you feel like you were at your best offensively here tonight? Uh, posting up when there was a size uh, disadvantage. And yeah, going off the dribble. Where did you find that dribble? Looks like you were penetrating most off the wing and off the baseline. Where, where do you like to go when you get it there? Yeah, I like to uh, lead them one way, like at the top of the key, and then sham God or do a crossover, and then, yeah, just feed them to one side and try and take it all the way. Well, Jackson, appreciate you joining us here. Congratulations on the win. Best of luck coming up Tuesday with ICAM Management. Thank you. You bet. Jackson Dice joining us. We're going to get head coach Coleman Mullenix joining us, and we'll get uh, coach to head up here. And Jackson, I think uh, that uh, the other man down there, Mr. Bennett, would like to catch up with you. So we'll get uh, Coleman to slide up in here, and we'll get him over on the headphones here. Okay. i got to use this. Yep. That's the right. Coleman, I appreciate you joining us here. Congratulations uh, on this win here tonight. I, I know you pride yourself on defense. Got a really oh, yeah. uh, got a 11 points given up in the second half. The Rich hits you for 12 in the first half. Score in the second half. You got to love the defensive intensity for your team here tonight. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I do. And we were. Some of it was. Uh, I guess not really adjustments. We made adjustments at when I called two timeouts. Right. The, first quarter, uh, but then after that, it was just better execution, uh, which I think is, is important as a coach. It's like, don't always, you know, have have faith in fundamentals, I think is important, where it's like, you don't always just have to call timeout and switch defenses. Uh, the problem is effort. 
number one. Well, the second thing is like just need to do things with better fundamentals. And we were so we decided to switch screens and we did better on that in the second half. And uh, I think that I know that helped us defend better. Um, but some of it too, Rich missed shots. I mean he's a really good shooter. We're fortunate he, he didn't make more in the second half. And but that's part of basketball and we're not gonna apologize for that. Uh, looked like you really wanted to come in and take advantage of your size tonight pounding it inside early to Carson and to Edward, and then it looked like you guys went back to that and kind of took over in the fourth quarter, I thought, inside, which opened up some outside shots. Yeah. Yeah, it was, and that's what, uh, okay. that was kind of a point of emphasis for us. We've worked on that more uh, this year than ever. Honestly, I, I have to say it's because of Edward Miller, because I've really never thought about back to the basket post game in my coaching career until I had Edward Miller who's 6'5", and now has a height advantage <laughs> in certain games. Yep. And so we've just been working on it, and everybody works on post moves. Everybody, we play more one-on-one, -on -one, people trying to uh, score uh, inside and everything like that. And we feel like now if there is a if there is a mismatch, we can get people inside. Because some of that third quarter, we sent Jackson in and put him on the block, and he was able to get some good field goal attempts. And then once, uh, the, the biggest thing is like, Tickner in the game, he's so he's so strong. We pretty much didn't want to post up against him. Right. But if we had someone, if he had, if he was putting forward and we put Carson in, we feel like, okay, we'll put Carson in. But right. once he fouled out, it not really changed the game. And that, that is when we pulled away then, was because we felt like, okay, now Edward can go go at them at score, and we can play some two-man game where if Edward gets doubled, we can, uh, he can pass out of it and get some decent outside looks as well. Um, and uh, that was six for us there in the fourth quarter. Coach, you're able to rebound well tonight as well. I thought you guys were really good against a physical team inside. Yeah, yeah, they are physical. They're so athletic. They are really tough. They're, uh, they're uh, yeah, they make me work. And we did. I'm, I'm uh, proud of that effort, guys. Clarkson, Edward, boxing out well. Uh, Gavin Smith is someone, he just has such a good nose for the ball and awareness of the game. He, I don't want to say never, they would never say never, but I don't know if he's ever been out of position since I've coached him. Right. You know, he just foot is the one problem. Yeah. If he was like 6'8", he'd be a great big man. Uh, but he's always smart. He's always, he always has a good feel for where he needs to be. He, he's physical, so he can fight off a guy like Tickler or Colby Rich or somebody inside. And yeah, we were able to uh, rebound. I mean, that's such a big part of defending is you can you fit that one shot possession. And in the second half, where yes, we defend well, but again, always realistic about statistics. Like they shot very poorly, uh, so we're not going to apologize for that. But some of that is is bad teams when a team shoots poorly. Bad teams let them get offensive rebounds and they go shoot layups on backs. Well, so that is where I would give us credit. Is we rebounded well, like you said, be able to be in good, good position, limit them to one shot positions, and then move to the other end. I can't man and come on Tuesday night. I fell to them the first yeah. time around. Uh, I'm sure you want this one at home. Yeah, no doubt. And they are always a tough out. They are disciplined. They are always fundamentally sound. You have to play your best game. You're going to get their best effort. Wagner has his kids uh, play so hard every single game. He's one of those coaches who you feel like he gets he gets every ounce yep. out of his talent that he has every year. I have a ton of respect for him, and you know that it's never easy when you play them. So we definitely uh, have to be ready, ready to go. You know, kind of fired up for our seniors. We had senior night early in the season. It's not technically senior, but it will be uh, their last time on our court. So hopefully, we can kind of ride this way and keep the momentum going into that game. Well, coach, appreciate you coming up. Congratulations on a huge win here tonight. Best of luck Tuesday. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate the coverage. You bet. Head coach Colvin Mullenix again with the Audubon boys. They pick up a 49-35 victory here tonight.